Greetings. I'm Congressman Earl Blumenauer, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak at this virtual briefing about the BRAIN Act. As you may know, my colleagues, Representatives Bill Pascrell and Don Bacon, joined me to introduce this critical legislation to establish a neuroscience center of excellence at the FDA. Our legislation was inspired by the 21st Century Cures 2.0 Act, which was recently introduced by Congresswoman Diana DeGette and Congressman Fred Upton. This flurry of activity in the neuroscience legislation space is a clear signal that on both sides of the aisle, we see the need to coordinate research and centralize activities to make sure that the FDA is more responsive to the quickly changing science. It's also a strong indicator of how important it is to keep patients at the forefront of the neuroscience conversation because they are the most impacted by new advancements and they deserve to have their voices heard. Over 88 organizations representing patients, providers, and the healthcare industry have endorsed this legislation, further proof that this is necessary work. With over 50 million Americans affected by mental illness and brain disorders, it's critical that we address what these patients and their families are going through. In addition to that toll on our patients and their families, these problems are hitting our economy at a cost of one and a half trillion dollars a year. Now more than ever, we must ensure that our agencies are able to meet the need of so many Americans and provide meaningful relief. I appreciate our panelists for their work and for taking this time to speak with us, and thank you all for tuning in.